in the name of my ancestors. Peace forever and always. Welcome once again to another edition of the Realities Temple on Earth. I am the host of this internet ministry, the mighty, mighty, mighty Angel Snub Number 7, your brother and hopefully your friend, Talik Ibn Ra. It is very early in the morning. The sun has been made to look as though it has risen from the east. And uh, I need to make this video. And I really don't know what I want to say. But I feel as though it needs to be said. So I am going to rely on the creation because nothing comes into existence without the permission of that which brings all things into being. And in religion, we are taught that nothing exists without God's permission. So these words, whether you like them or not, have been approved by the creation or they have been approved by God. And how you accept it or how you embrace or how you deal with what you hear, that, that uh, is something that you have to deal with. Just like I had to deal with it. Because I want to say this very quickly. It is never my intent to look like I attack people or try to hurt people's feelings. Because believe me, that is not the intent. I have never in my life ever been an aggressor running around trying to hurt people regardless whether it be physically or mentally so don't accuse me of trying to hurt somebody but unfortunately in this world that we live in that has been built on lies that have been built on deceit falsehood Fiction, fairy tale teaching, trickery. In this world, when we embrace truth, and then it comes to find out what we thought was true is false. It is a hurtful thing. So since I rely on facts rather than belief or that which feels good to the human being, then it was seen many a time that I may be the aggressor when that is not the intent. The intent is to reveal or expose or bring to us real truth. I thought, I thought that is what religion was supposed to be about. But, re but religion, in my experience, does not represent truth. It represents comfort. It represents a different form of getting high. Again, it is not my intent to hurt your feelings. It's not my intent to start some debate because you not you cannot debate truth. You can't argue with truth. That's why many of you get angry. And you get sensitive because what you call truth is not true. So when your belief comes up against the truth, the only thing you can do is get upset and angry and start talking about people like a child because you don't have truth. You have been tricked. 
You have been lied to. You have been conditioned to embrace lies. It is sad. I thought that religion was supposed to be about the truth. That's all I hear coming out of the mosque. That's all that I hear coming out of the synagogue. Oh, we for the truth. Oh, the truth this and the truth that. But when you bring it and there's no doubt about it, you can't handle it because it's outside of your religious belief system. So if it don't fit in the criteria into the boundaries of what you believe, then it's not true. And I'm telling you today, that concept is not true. Because with truth, real truth, there's no need for belief. You don't have to believe in the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth right now. I'm speaking to you on YouTube. Now, it could change. Somebody could post this video somewhere else. But the original post of this video is on YouTube, and that's the truth. I want somebody to debate me on that issue. See, that's the truth. Your religion, your belief system is not the truth because you cannot debate truth. That's your reality. I'm talking to you on YouTube. That's reality. Now, you can be silly and talk about, well, maybe this is a, another dimension. How, how do you know we're not really space aliens and all that? Nonsense. Our reality tells you that I'm speaking to you over a medium called YouTube. You're watching a video. That's the truth. That's the way your religion is supposed to be. There's no argument. There's no debate. So when people deny the truth, they are really actually denying their reality. And that's what you have done in religion. You have decided to deny your reality for this thing that has made you comfortable. So are you standing for truth or are you simply found something to make you comfortable? Which one is it? So if you're just being comfortable, don't come to me or anybody talk about, oh, this is the truth and the truth this. And you don't stand for no truth. You're a liar. Just tell them this what makes me comfortable. Because if you stand on the truth, then you will be challenged. And those who challenge you, they will leave you alone when they come against real truth. Because they don't want to accept their reality either. But when you don't accept your reality and they don't accept their reality, there y'all go, arguing and debating, arguing and debating. Because you can debate and argue over belief all day long, all night long. But you cannot debate and argue with the truth. Because like somebody always told me, it is what it is. Don't you know that I come from the same place and I have been cut from the same cloth that you have been cut from? No different. When I was a child, I was raised in the Baptist church. Jesus this and Jesus that. My heart was loyal to that which I was taught. And I believed that to my soul. Lord knows as a child, I used to hear that old Baptist minister on the pulpit. Lord knows I didn't want to go to hell. And as a child, I decided... I'm going to do everything that I can so I don't go to hell so that I can please my Father thou art in heaven. But then I was introduced to the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And then in listening to that teaching made me to examine what I was taught and I found these flaws and these errors. Now, 
I could have easily just remained loyal to my Baptist upbringing because I was comfortable in that. I was comfortable in what I thought was truth, like y'all do. Or I can be true to my word that I am searching for the truth. So when I was introduced to Islam, I found that these teachings had more truth than what I was originally taught. Not that being a Baptist is, is bad. Not being a Baptist is something that's terrible. Because it guided me in a moral direction. But at the same time, it was not pure truth. There was something in error. So instead of being comfortable, I decided to come out of my comfort zone and convert to something that was more pure. And that's what it's about. Finding purity in your truth. Again, we live in a society, we live in an environment all over this planet, people have been lied to, they have been deceived, they have been misguided. All the way into your religion. In fact, your religion has been used to help deceive you, help manipulate you. It is not the intent to hurt your feelings. But I want to tell you and I want to ask you. Do you stand for truth? Or are you just looking for something to comfort you? And if you're looking for something to comfort you, people of religion, Muslim, Christian, whatever the choice of your religion, then you're no better than a dope fiend. You're no better than an alcoholic. Because that's what they do. But then every Sunday, every Wednesday, whenever y'all have y'all religious meetings, you want to talk about how bad how trifling, how sinful the dope fiend is, the sex addict, the alcoholic, and all these people, you want to talk about them like a dog. And you ain't no better. You ain't no better because when you become a sex fiend, when you become an alcoholic or a dope fiend, you're doing these things because that activity makes you comfortable. It brings, it brings you pleasure. You're no different. You're no different. Because what you do is you go to the mosque, you go to the synagogue, you go to the church, and every Sunday or whenever you have these meetings, you hoop and holler, praise Allah, Allah Akbar, praise Jesus. Or whatever. And you get to hooping and hollering. Some of y'all, you get the drums, get to beating the drums, playing the guitar. You're doing all these different things. So you can get your high. The same high you used to get when you used to get drunk in the streets, in the bars, in the alleyways. The same high you used to get when you get drunk doing your drugs. Looking for sexual gratification, the same type of high, except now the high, the high is more mental than it was physical. You don't have to actually take a bottle and put it up to your mouth. You don't have to take a needle and shoot it in your arm. It's a different kind of high. You're not looking for truth. You're looking for a comfort zone. That's what you're looking for. So don't talk about I'm for the truth. And I'm this. No, you are a liar. You're looking for something just to make you comfortable. Because just like in that old movie, you can't handle the truth. Hold on a second. We going on slide on to the next video. Hold on with me. Hold on. I know that many people in religion... 
They don't like what I'm saying. Some of them will begin to hate you. I'm very sure just by my talking, it brings hatred in their soul. But at the same time, they talk about, oh, we're so full of peace. You're so full of peace, but you can't handle what I'm saying. Hatred start coming in your heart. Oh, but you're so full of peace. You're so full of peace. But you can punch me in my face. Those type of thoughts going through your mind. I wish this nigga would shut up. But you're so full of peace and love and joy. You are a liar. You are even false to your own religious teaching. You are a demon and you're a hypocrite to your own belief system. You hate those who reveal and teach the truth because they are messing with your comfort zone. Just like if you take drugs from a person. You ever try to take a liquor bottle from an alcoholic? How they fight you? How they hate you? That's how you are. Because that's their comfort zone. The alcohol, the sex, the dope. That was giving these people their pleasure, their high. That's their comfort zone. And see, that's why many of you cannot stand to hear the voice of the reality's temple because I'm messing with your comfort zone. I'm not your enemy. I'm just like the one who comes to the dope fiend trying to treat the dope fiend for their illness. Trying to treat the sex maniac with their illness. Or the alcoholic for their drunkenness. Whatever. What are you trying to say? That we're sick? Yes, you are sick. Because anytime a belief system will make you hate your mama, hate your brother, hate your sister, and kill other people because they don't believe in what you do. Yeah, you damn right. You are sick. You get angry because sir, you don't like somebody talking about your belief system. Yeah, you are a sick person. You can talk about anything that Brother Talik has to say. You will not see me get upset with you. I don't give a damn if you believe what I'm talking about or don't. Because for real, it's not about belief. I'm bringing you facts. As close as I can get. But you can't handle nobody talking about your religion. You, Because you are in your comfort zone. You like a dope fiend. Don't take my beer away from me. Don't take my vodka away. Don't take my porn away from me. You don't want to hear nobody tell you that Muhammad, the prophet, didn't exist. You don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear people say that Jesus didn't exist. You don't want to hear people say that ghosts and spirits, all that's fiction and fantasy, cartoon character, you can't handle it because those things have made you comfortable. And just like any dope fiend, just like any alcoholic, you get angry because somebody messing with those things that bring you pleasure to your life and your comfort. I am sorry. But there's an old saying that's called truth hurts. Don't you know, Brother Talit come from the same place that you come from. Do you think, uh, oh, so I guess you think I'm different than you are. Well, in a way, I am different. Because I'm here looking for the real truth. My Bible, when I was a Baptist, told me and, and, and taught me that I was supposed to be standing and looking for truth. And when truth come, I accepted it. Y'all don't do that. Because the truth is not in the pretty package you think it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be in the package that you think. How can these religious belief systems be the truth when they can be used to cause evil? In the name of God, I can make a slave out of you. In the name of God, because you're a woman, the man is better than you. In the name of God, God said that the woman 
is nothing but a funky rib. And she's the cause of man's problem because she sold out and let a snake talk and all that old crazy stuff. You are a cursed people because you're black. What is good about a religious belief if somebody can take it and manipulate it? You cannot manipulate truth. If truth is a man is just as equal as a woman, that's facts. That's just the way that it is, if that's the truth. But y'all take y'all religion, and, and on Monday, Monday, women are not equal to men. Then on Wednesday, now the women are equal to men. Then on Sunday, it can change. You can do whatever you want. That is not how truth works. You cannot manipulate this video. It's a video. That's the truth. I'm on YouTube. That's the truth. There's no way that you can manipulate it. Anybody that's trying to manipulate the real truth, pure truth, look like a damn fool. But with y'all so-called truth, Joe, Joe can say this and that. Donnie can say everybody got their own version of truth. There is no version of the truth. It's either, it's, it is what it is. It is facts. You cannot debate it. You cannot argue it. That's just point blank. But y'all get all upset. You get all upset over these things. What you getting upset for? You getting upset because it's just like early in the morning when you don't want to get up and wake up and the alarm clock or somebody stuck. Wake up. Get up. You don't like it. When real truth comes, it begins, it wakens your mind. It's like a alarm clock going off. And you don't want to hear it. You come up your ears. I don't want to hear that. That's on you. Don't go around telling that lie you stand for the truth because you don't. You have found something that makes you comfortable. You don't stand for the truth. And so you you would get upset with somebody like me because you don't want to accept the truth. You have become comfortable in evil. You have become Come comfortable in fairy tales and fantasy and fiction and lies and deceit. You are a liar and a deceiver yourself. I used to be, I used to do this in the street. And I used to do that in the street. And that was bad. This, I understand those things. But in religion, you're supposed to be searching for the truth. Not searching for religion. Not becoming loyal to religion. Because truth is ever evolving. It's ever changing. Coming up out of this falsehood. This lies. This deception. It can come from anywhere. And how did the lie get so popular? The lies and the deceit got so popular through your religious belief system. That's how you were able to be controlled. That's how you were able to be conditioned to accept falsehood. And so now y'all waiting on spirits and spooks to come save you from a world that man messed up. You got little green men in your backyard. All this kindergarten nonsense. But if that what floats your boat, then that's all right. That don't bother me. You can believe whatever you believe. But why you want to hate me when I bring you the real truth? Don't tell me about the truth when you don't represent the truth. You're not interested. You're only interested in your next high. Yo, what you going to do? What are you going to What's you're going to get the Bible, you're going to get the Quran, and you're going to take these words and make them sound good to give yourself pleasure and masturbate 
with the so-called words of God. You don't represent the truth. You're just looking for something to give you comfort. Because truth hurts. And y'all can't handle the truth. And you can't handle the truth because you are used to being lied to. You like lies. You like being in comfort. You like you like you are comfortable and you have been conditioned to accept accept lies. You want to get angry at me? What you want to get angry at brother Talik for? Because you are dope fiend. Because you're alcoholic. Using religion to cover up your addiction. Whatever you was in the street, some of y'all was dope fiends and and uh, alcoholics, whatever. But now you just found a different way to get high. You're not interested in the real truth. You're not interested in that which is pure. So in conclusion, it's up to you. And you only make yourself look bad. You want to argue with me. You want to debate with me. You cannot do it. Because with real truth, there is no debate. Why don't you just say, look, I'm just comfortable in my skin. What, why get angry at somebody because they're telling you the truth? You, you don't want to hear it. Just say, look, I'm comfortable in what I'm doing. Just like the dope fiend do. Look, man, I like getting high. They'll tell you, I like getting high. I like getting drunk. I'm having fun. But is it fun when you look at people getting drunk? And getting high, you did it yourself physically. So now you're getting drunk off the word of God. Now you're getting high and finding pleasure and comfort in words now. With drums, with guitars, with people on the pulpit speaking eloquent and articulate to get you high. What difference is it? I would suggest to us to go into rehab and to seek treatment so that you can accept your reality. Because when you do drugs and alcohol and liquor, the only thing people have done, they're trying to escape their reality. And even in religion, religion is used so that you don't have to deal with the real world. You have become a spiritual dope fiend. You don't want to deal with your reality. So if you don't want to deal with reality, then you don't. You need to leave me alone. Because I'm going to do everything that I can to get you off dope. To get you off the alcohol. To inspire you to put the pornography away. And for you to evolve from that which did help you. I'm not saying that religion didn't help you, but now we're looking for truth. Because without truth, you're not going to connect with this universe. That sun that has risen from the east, you're not going to be able to connect in falsehood and deception because you don't understand the reality of it. You're living in fantasy and fiction and you're still on your high. But like little kids, grab your teddy bear and go to sleep in your comfort. Not your truth in that which you find comfortable in that little teddy bear that you got called religion. Thank you for listening. I know I, I upset a lot of people, but hey, think for yourself, people. This was and is the Realities Temple on Earth.